What is a broadcast? That's a great question. This happens millions of times on every network every day. And this micro nugget, we're going to take a look at exactly what's going on. Let's jump in. To really appreciate what a broadcast is, we first ought to take a look at how to get the attention of a computer. What do you mean, the attention of a computer? I mean, what kind of information could we send to a computer to make that computer act on it, to pay attention and to dig in deeper to it? And the answer lies in something called a frame of data. Let's take a look at that for a moment. In a frame of data, which is a collection of bits that is sent from the router, for example, into the switch and from the switch to this PC, when the PC sees it inside the frame of data is something called the destination address. Now, at layer two of the OSI reference model, the destination address is going to be the burned in network interface address of this PC. And here's what happens. If that same frame of data went to PC1 and to the laptop and to the printer for whatever reason, but it was only destined to the layer two address, the destination address of this PC, the PC would be the only one really interested in that data. The laptop and the printer would both say, oh, that's not my address that's being sent to at layer two. I'll just go ahead and drop it. I don't need to worry about it. But the PC is going to continue processing and interpreting it. That, my friends, is how you get the attention of a device on the network. You send a frame to the destination address of that device. And if he sees it, he'll look, it in, look into it. So that's what the MAC address, if you ever see the concept of a MAC address, they're not talking about an Apple computer. They're talking about the media access control address, the fit layer two or the physical address that's burned into every network adapter. So now let's talk about broadcast. How do we get the attention of everybody? And the answer is really simple. If we want to get the attention of every device on our network, we can send a frame that's destined for a special address. And that special address is this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> that's 24. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, what that is, is that's 48 bits. And they're all on. That, my friends, is a special address. If a device sees the destination address of all ones, 48 bits of ones for the layer two destination address, every device is interested in that. Running IPv4 anyway. So if that was sent out, this PC would say, oh, look at that destination address. I'm interested. And it would keep digging into the information. This laptop would do the same and the printer would do the same. So that is what a broadcast is. It's a destination layer two address that is all ones. So now that we've taken a look at this special address and we understand that all the devices would be interested, I think it'd be well worth our time to go ahead and prove it. So let's do that right now. So just to basically verify my connectivity, I'm going to do a couple of pings from router one to the PCs individually into the printer individually. And I'll do that with ping 10.0.0.2 and that works successfully. We'll ping out to 10.0.0.3 and that works. And we'll also go to four. Now, what's <laughs> what's wrong with you, Mr. Printer? I lost one right there. I'm not sure why that is. That's all right. So the pings all mostly successfully worked. And whenever we ping an IP address, what happens in the background? If we ping a single IP address, like the printer, in the background, we're sending out the layer two frame to the MAC address of the printer. If we want to see all the MAC addresses that the router knows about, it should be his and the three other devices. We can do a show. ARP, and that'll show us the ARP cache, and that also shows us the IP addresses here for those devices. So there's R1, PC1, Laptop 2, and the printer, as well as the associated Layer 2 addresses, or the MAC addresses. And I hard-coded these to make them really easy to stand out so you know which is which. So we know we can ping individual devices, but how about pinging a whole group of devices using a broadcast? And we can do that by pinging 10.0.0. Because we're on the 10.0.0 network, I'm going to use the special layer 3 broadcast address for this ping. Now, what that's going to do in the background is going to say, oh, that's a broadcast address. 
and the router will convert that to a layer two destination broadcast address as well. And hopefully all the devices will respond. So I'm also gonna say repeat one, just so we're gonna send one ping out to that broadcast address and there's a reply from device two and dot three, which is our laptop and the printer dot four. Let's take a look at the protocol analyzer just to verify that what we think happened indeed really did. So let's bring in the, the killer packet right here. So this killer packet is the one that we sent out from the router and it's, take a look at the layer two destination address. In hexadecimal, F, 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 12 characters of Fs, every F in hexadecimal represents four ones. So 12 Fs times four bits each equals 48 bits. And so it sent it out and then as a result, every device saw that and every device replied back. So that, my friends, is how you get the attention of an entire network, and that is by sending a broadcast. And in this nugget, we've identified exactly how that works. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.